good afternoon everyone so today we will discuss from the conservation of forest and wildlife previous day we discuss about the desertification how the drought occurs how global warming occurs what is the bad effects of the, the deforestation so how you conserve this forest these plants and the animals which depends on this forest the total wildlife you know that there is different types of the forest reserves are present just like wildlife sanctuary national park and different types of the biosphere reserves so how they do work and they protect the animals having become aware of the effects of the deforestation pahli and bhojo are worried they go to the professor ahmed and ask him how forest and wildlife can be saved biosphere is the part of the earth in which living organism exist or which support life so biosphere is the part of the earth any part for the living anything that's may be plants that's may be animal that's may exist in which part of the earth that is called biosphere bio means that is related to life sphere means the part okay Biological diversity and biodiversity refers to the variety of organism existing on the earth. They are interrelationship and they are relationship with the environment. Obviously, if there is biosphere reserve present, the animals, the plants, each are depend on each other, and there is maybe a cyclical change. You know that food chain, different types of chains are also. Econ environmental chains are present. One depends on the other. Animals also depends on the plants. Plants also depends on the animals. Okay, so they are some interrelationship. They are population reproduction this type of occurs that uh, events also occur so they are depend on these types of the relationship professor ahmed organize a visit to a biosphere reserve for pahali bhojo and their classmates they select a place named pachmari biosphere reserves okay and he knows that plants and animals found here are similar to those of the upper himalayan peaks and to those belongs to the lower western ghats Professor Ahmed believes that the biodiversity found here is unique. He requests Mohan Madhavji, a forest employee, to guide children inside the biosphere reserve. He explained that preserving areas of such biological importance makes them a part of our national heritage. Okay, so biosphere reserve, wildlife sanctuary, obviously they do totally save different types of animals, and that is the tradition. They are also tradition. They are also our proud of our nation. So when they Reserve some traditional methods also, and you can also proud to be about your nation, about your animals. You can represent the types of animals on the other countries also. Madhavji explained to the children that apart from our personal efforts and efforts of the society, government, agri agencies also take care of the forest and animals. So not only first, all of the human should be aware about that. After the should be human, obviously there is some uh, sanctuaries, wildlife that is totally uh, controlled under the government. Governments also take some step to. protect this type of animals and plants so to protect our flora and fauna and the habitats protected areas called wildlife sanctuaries national park biosphere reserve flora and fauna means the particular plants and animals found in a particular area this flora and fauna they are preserved in wildlife sanctuary in national park biosphere area what is wild this is most important this three definition what is wildlife sanctuary what is national park and what is biosphere reserve what is wildlife smallest wildlife rather than the bigger than than that that is national park and then biosphere reserve biosphere reserve include national park and wildlife sanctuary both okay but wildlife sanctuary never include the biosphere reserve biosphere is the biggest area the areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and they are have just protect the animals from any type of the human disturbance that is wildlife sanctuary and national park areas reserved for wildlife where they can freely use habitats and natural reserves wildlife sanctuary just the bigger version of the zoo there is their natural habitat in zoo the totally the artificial human control but in the case of the wildlife sanctuary that is totally they are naturally move in their habitat they can and they are protected from the humans disturbance but the uh, in national park they can use their habitat they just freely just uh, habitat in just like their wildlife or in the jungle how they live this type of living that occurs in the 
national park and biosphere reserve is not only the um, animal plants they also intake the area or particular area there is some tribals animals humans also present they included that part also okay so large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife plants and animals resources and traditional life of the tribals tribals means the humans of a particular area okay living in that area biosphere reserve children along with the professor ahmed and madhav ji entered the biosphere reserve area madhav ji explained that biosphere reserves are the areas mean conservation of the biodiversity obviously biosphere means the conservation of biodiversity you know that what is biodiversity the living part of the earth okay some animals some plants some the, the particular humans of that particular areas all these are totally protected in a biosphere reserves biosphere reserves included wildlife sanctuary biosphere reserve included the national park also the conservation as you are aware of the biodiversity is the biodiversity of plants animals and microorganism generally found in area obviously if there is a huge area plants animal microorganism anything humans they can live anywhere a biosphere reserve may also contain other protected areas in it the pachmari biosphere reserve so give an example of the biosphere reserve that is pachmari biosphere reserve and consists of one national park that is named satpura and two wildlife sanctuary named bori and pachmari okay so the what uh, which uh, wildlife sanctuary and national park consists the pachmari biosphere the national park name is the satpura and the wildlife sanctuary that is bori and pachmari is three totally included in the pachmari biosphere reserve flora and fauna as the children walk around the biosphere reserve they appreciate that green wealth of the forest they happy to see to they are living in the townships so when they go to this type of the wildlife region they are very happy to see this type of greenery because in the very rare in the town there is some the deforestation is increasing day by day so that's why the greenery we can see very rarely in some part of our area so when they enter in that jungle they just uh, forest they happy to see this type of long tree greenery sal teak this is the very important tree also they also made different types of things from this type of trees okay suddenly pahli finds a rabbit to wants to catch it he starts running after it professor ahmed stops her she explain that animals are comfortable and habit uh, happy in their own habitat so just pahli they are very small so when they saw a rabbit he is very excited and she just ran to catch that but this is not uh, we should not do that because they are very happy with their habitat we should leave them in their natural habitat not disturb them Madhav ji explained that some animals and plants typically belong to a particular area the plants and animals found in a particular area termed as flora and fauna respectively of that area so what is flora and what is fauna flora is the plants of a particular area and fauna is the plants of a particular area if you can give example of the some flora sal teak you can see in the pachmari biosphere reserve so flora of the pachmari biosphere reserve sal and teak because you can see this type of particular are trees in that areas okay endemic species soon the group of quietly enters the deep forest children are surprised to see very big squirrel the squirrel is the fauna on that particular area okay because they are the animals that can find on that particular area they are very curious to know about it madhav ji tells them that this is known as the giant squirrel and is the endemic to that area endemic species what is endemic species the endemic species are those species plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area flora and fauna is different the uh, plants you can see that but the flora and fauna both are uh, including in the endemic species the animals and plants that are found in a particular area that is called endemic species a particular type of animals or plants may be endemic to a zone a state or a country you can see that some plants you can see in our country some plants in another country so that's may be a small area that's may be a country that's may be a large area but you can find this type of animals and plants only on that particular area or on that particular country now when you go to the winter region or the cold region you can see the another pine uh, this type of uh, uh tree but in our region there is mango tree the large type of tree so this type of tree you can find in a particular area endemic flora the pachmari biosphere reserve 
and madhavji shows the sal and wild mango are the two examples of the endemic flora of the pachmari biosphere reserve so endemic flora of the pachmari was sal teak wild mango and the fauna of the pachmari biosphere reserve or endemic fauna of the pachmari biosphere reserve bison indian giant squirrel flying squirrel this type of squirrel you can find in the pachmari biosphere reserve Ahmed explained that destruction of their habitat, increasing population, and introduction of new species may affect the natural habitat of the endemic species and endanger their existence. Obviously, so if you uh, you are present in a particular area, when you move into the another area, some problem occurs in your body because you cannot adapt with that animal. So we all our animals are. Um, happy and we can quietly live in our natural habitat because we are habituated with that areas environment climate humans any things they affect our lives when we can move to the another area we cannot we just take some time to adjust on that particular area so that is also happen with that animals also they are also happy with their natural habitat never disturb them so when you disturb so they just in the way of the extinct their numbers are decreasing day by day we should protect them species a group of population what is species a group of population which are capable of interbreeding species obviously interbreeding means they are uh, able to reproduce between their own species tiger to tiger lion to lion that is called interbreeding this means that member of a species can produce fertile offspring only with the member of their own species obviously tiger reproduces with the tiger not with the lion so that is the species which are capable of doing interbreeding within their own species not the other species member of a species have common characteristics find the endemic plants and animals on that region or wildlife sanctuary soon pahli was a board with pachmari wildlife sanctuary written on it professor ahmed explained that killing or poaching killing capturing you know that this is increasing day by day for their valuable skin teeth this type of things they are very very much costly so that's why the poachers they are uh, slightly or hiddenly kill the animals they are called poachers okay while the poachers poaching capturing animals in generally strictly prohibited obviously and the punishable law in such places wildlife sanctuaries like reserve forest provide protections and suitable living conditions to the animal wildlife con uh, conservation obviously that is they protect the animals with their natural habitat they also tell that people living in wildlife sanctuaries are allowed to do certain activities start gauging that livestock collecting medical plants and firewood but in the case of the wildlife sanctuaries there is some entry of the humans is allowed so they can collect some uh, medicine plants anything but in that time some bad people also may enter in that areas so they can kill that animals it is pity that protected forests are not safe because people living in the neighborhood encroach upon them and destroy them children are reminded of their visit to the zoo they recall that zoo also places where animals receive protection obviously that is very wonderful journey for them because they are they see different types of animals they see different types of plants on a particular area so they remember that things okay some of the threatened animal example that is black buck white headed buck elephant golden pink headed duck gharial marsh crocodile python they are in the way of the extinction okay so our wildlife sanctuaries indian sanctuaries have unique landscape broad level forest mountain forest bush lands and the deltas of the big rivers okay this is up to for the today we will continue from the national park in our next video okay thank you very much everyone bye everyone